The Senate could vote today on a budget bill to keep the government from shutting down. House members approved it by small margin last night. And Chicoros is on Capitol Hill, where some Democrats say House Republicans added Christmas presents to the bill for their friends. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. The House passed this $1.1 trillion spending bill with just two hours to spare last night. It funds the government, almost all of it, for nine months. And for Congress, that's an eternity. The House voted to fund the government, but only after a face-off that threatened to topple a carefully crafted compromise. This is a ransom. This is blackmail. Nancy Pelosi and her Democratic colleagues were furious about two last-minute additions to the bill. One allowing wealthy donors to give $324,000 per year to political parties, ten times the current limit, and another to roll back a key financial regulation that limits banks from trading in risky derivatives with with government-backed funds. If you're a big donor or if you're a big bank, we bail you out, but everybody else gets left out that Democrats should not be endorsing that view. A vote for this bill is a vote for future taxpayer bailouts of Wall Street. The White House argued it was better to take a flawed deal now than wait until January. There's no doubt that the amount of leverage that Democrats have on Capitol Hill uh, will be reduced uh, as a result of the Republican gains that are made in the last midterm election. So I agree it wasn't I just Democrats who had problems. A group of conservatives balked because the bill does not do Congress. more to block the president's recent immigration orders. This lawlessness and immigration overreach must not stand. But in the end, enough members from both sides said yes to pass the bill by five votes. In a controversial move, Republicans slipped in a measure blocking the District of Columbia from legalizing marijuana, even though 70 percent of local voters approved the pot measure last month. A lot of D.C. leaders are not happy about that. The Senate could vote on this bill as early as today, and then Congress can go home knowing that it has filled, fulfilled one of its most basic duties, Jeff, that also turns out to somehow be one of its most difficult, funding the government. Nancy Cordes, thanks very much.